Hey there, boys and girls. Happy, happy Monday. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. The weather was absolutely gorgeously perfect. Um, I would like to read to you today a story called Nikki and the Rainy Day. Now, this is a story about how a family of rabbits spends a rainy day. So, with this story, um, this genre, or this type of story, is a fantasy. Now, remember that a fantasy story is a made-up story, and things that happen in a fantasy could not happen in real life. So, just look at the cover of this book, okay? Do you think we would really see rabbits walking around on their back legs, um, playing in the rain, wearing raincoats and rain boots and hats, okay? Probably not, right? So, that kind of gives us a little hint there. Um, before we begin, let's take a look at the author's name, and it says Valerie Gorbachev, or Gorbachev, and I want you to think for a moment what the author does. Okay, we haven't talked about this in a while, but remember, an author is the person that writes the words, okay, and the illustrator is the person that draws the pictures or paints the pictures, all right? So I believe that this person did the whole thing because it just has the name at the top. It doesn't say written by and illustrated by. It's just one name. So that same person is the author and the illustrator. All right, so we're gonna get started. And again, it's called Nikki and the Rainy Day. Oh, look at all the bunnies looking out the window. Uh-oh, look at that guy. Hmm, it's like a fox sneaking off. Let's see what's gonna happen. It was a rainy day. Nicky and his brothers and sisters couldn't go out to play. It's awful to be stuck inside all day, said Nicky. It's so boring. Everyone agreed. Now, I would have thought Nicky was a girl, because all the Nickys I know are girls, but it says Nicky and his brothers. So that tells me that our main character, Nicky, is a boy rabbit. Mother, said Nathan, we're bored. We don't like the rain, said Nora. Yes, said Nellie, we can't go outside. There's nothing to do, said Ned. Why don't you read a book or play cards while I fix lunch, said Mother Rabbit. I have a better idea, said Nikki. We can go to the desert. Hmm. The desert is sunny and bright with beautiful yellow sand, and it never rains there. No, no, said Mother Rabbit. That's impossible. Why not? asked Nathan. It's a great idea. But it's so hot in the desert, said Nora. Yes, said Nellie, and there's nothing to drink there. And we could get lost, said Ned. Okay, said Nikki. Then we'll go to the mountains. The mountains are very big with beautiful blue cliffs. No, no, said Mother Rabbit. That's impossible. Why not? asked Nathan. It's a great idea. But there are landslides in the mountains, said Nora. Yes, and mountain lions too, said Nellie. And we could get lost, said Ned. Okay, said Nikki. Then we'll go to the jungle. The jungle is leafy and green and very beautiful. No, no, said Mother Rabbit. That's impossible. Why not, asked Nathan. It's a great idea. But there are lots of wild animals in the jungle, said Nora. Yes, and snakes too, said Nellie. And we could get lost, said Ned. Okay, said Nikki. Then we'll go to the South Pole. The South Pole has lots of beautiful white snow. No, no, said Mother Rabbit. That's impossible. Why not? asked Nathan. It's a great idea. But it's freezing cold at the South Pole, said Nora. Yes, and there are blizzards too, said Nellie. And we could get lost, said Ned. Okay, said Nikki. Then we'll go to outer space. I hope you're noticing a pattern here throughout this story. Outer space is filled with beautiful red and orange planets. No, said Mother Rabbit. We're not going to outer space. We are going for a walk in the meadow. Look, 
The rain has stopped and the sun is coming out. Hooray! cried all the little rabbits. They put on their raincoats and boots and headed outside. Isn't it nice to go for a walk after the rain? asked Mother Rabbit. Oh, yes, agreed Nicky and his brothers and sisters as they splashed in the puddles. It's fun! And beautiful, too, said Mother Rabbit. Look up there! Wow, said Nathan. It's great! It's blue and green and yellow and orange and red, said Nora. With white clouds, too, said Nellie. And it's right near our house, so we won't get lost, said Ned. What do you think they're looking at, boys and girls? Yep, it's a rainbow, explained Mother Rabbit. You see them sometimes right after it has rained. Then let's go to the rainbow, said Nicky. No, no, said Mother Rabbit. That's impossible. Maybe not, said Nicky. We could try. And that's just what they did. So notice they're taken off to follow the rainbow. All right, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that story as much as I did. I thought that was really cute. Have a super day.